Hey guys, it's Carl. Welcome back, everybody, to Surviving Mars. Just sit back, relax, and enjoy. If you do enjoy, hit the like button and leave some nice feedback in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think about the game. Also, this video is not sponsored by Paradox Interactive, but I still want to say thank you so much, Paradox, for helping me out on six first episodes in this series. Because YouTube is not in a great place at the moment. Like, I've been doing YouTube for, what is it, full time for five years now. And it's never, never been this bad. Like, I get videos demonetized on a daily basis, like, <laughs> for no reason whatsoever. I mean, I'm pretty family-friendly or kid-friendly, I guess. Like, I don't cast or anything. And still, but hey, the bot is learning. So hopefully he learns fast, okay? So thank you so much, Paradox, all right? And nevertheless, in between episodes, I did some cleanup, cleanup operation. Mainly just moving a few guys over here, like the water towers, some oxygen tanks just to free up some space in between the buildings because I just want to have some more air and we're going to continue cleaning up stuff, all right? Also, in the previous episode, we made a damn medium dome. And oh boy, it's medium. It's not huge, but it's medium and it's kind of nice. We're going to continue this in today's episode, but first things first, what do we want to do? I want to send down... Okay, you, sir, can you grab your drones and get down into the tunnel, please? Uh, drones, can you jump in? That would be mighty amazing. Yep, you get in there. And we have a power shortage. Oof, don't panic. Panic. Don't panic. Okay, you know what? I, I built some extra buildings here Research in between episodes, complete. I guess. And um, that took its toll. So let's just close down a little bit of those buildings. Let's also maybe just disable this machine part factory because that requires 30 power for the moment, okay? Just until we get up on our feet. And uh, what was I saying? Okay, this guy is going to go down to the tunnel and he's going to go down here because you guys been at me like I'm losing stuff here, right? We're losing uh, water, 2.5 units each hour and some oxygen. I mean, it's a waste. Okay, so we're going to repair that. And also what we're going to do, we're going to put a universal depot here. So hopefully the, the shuttle is going to bring down stuff here. And here what I want to do is, let's see, I want to do a valve. There we go, and maybe a maybe a no 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 maybe a power switch is that gonna be a thing? I guess maybe not. Maybe in a later stage once this is built up, I'm not really sure how that operates. But uh, that's gonna stop at least the pipe from from being in usage here. So hopefully it doesn't break and we don't have to go down here and repair because now we don't really have much stuff down there, right? So it's kind of like a waste of of us going up and down, up and down. But uh, power, you say? Do we have any rockets on uh, on Earth? By the way, we do have one. Okay, let's just pre-plan this a little bit. Uh, what do we want to have in this guy? Like we do have the metals over here, so that is kind of kind of nice and neat. We could maybe move the machine part factory to this building and have something else in those domes over here. How much metals is there? That's thousand metal. That's gonna be quite a bit of stuff, right? Yeah, let's do that. Let's have a cargo rocket and let's have a machine part factory because we don't have them. Like we need to kind of research them until we get the recipes for them so we can build them without, without having taking them from Earth because that is a little bit costly. Like it's 400 million and uh, yeah, that's a little bit. And then we're going to just boost electronics for the rest of it. So we have that prefab and then 20 electronics because we don't produce much of them. Do it. Yes, please come back to us. Also, where's my guys, by the way? Where is this guy? Is here. Okay, you just get a few more metal over here, and that guy is almost filled up. But okay, you get some more metals, and then chop, chop, we get to get to work somewhere else. But um, man, what do we want to do? Like, I love the wind turbines because I think they're amazing. I mean, they do produce power 24/7, and they just work. But uh, the maintenance on those guys is quite hefty because of the machine parts. And what are we currently researching? We're doing the Okay, why did, are we doing this? Okay, let's just... What is that? Surface heating. We don't need that because that's not really that cold here. Extractor upgrade. Increase power uh, production by 25%, but also increase power consumption by 10 Not now, I guess. But this is unlocked. Wind turbine upgrade. Power production increased by 33%. Let's do that as well. So we're going to do this first, the probes, and this is kind of vital because we can, I think we can double search the surfaces for like deeper deposits and stuff. So we're going to try that out. This is not really that needed. So let's do this, that, and then maybe get into some new crops. Martian bone colonists graduate faster in universities and san san sanatoriums and have higher chance to gain perks from schools. We don't even have a school. <laughs> we don't even have a school. <laughs> okay, let's just start there. And we're going to see where this, this takes us. Did we discover any more anomalies? No, we didn't. It's scanning down here. And we're going to do not that one. Let's just start up here. 
Perfect. So let's get to it. We're going to do some power cells, or I mean uh, solar panels, and uh, all over the place here. I'm going to make it nice, and we're going to make it perfect. It's going to be amazing. It's going to last us for absolutely forever, and also let's just squeeze a few of those here in the far end. Boom, boom, and boom. And then, I guess, we can just make shapes out of this, can we? Do we want to? Yes, let's do that. Let's salvage this little cable here, let's salvage that. And how many can we do of them? The wind turbines. One, two, three, four, five, and six. That is quite a bit of extra power. You might be like, he's going nuts. Believe me, we're going to require quite a bit of power if we want to have like a big extension today. Like, or at least, not, maybe not extension, but at least we're going to have um, some upgrades going and expansions on the thing. Can I squeeze in? If I would place that, there would be at least one more. Yeah, maybe not perfect, but hey, it is what it is. Squeeze that in. Bam, done it. So this is going to be looking quite neat, I guess. Right? Or am I wrong? Research complete. Oh, the probes. Okay. So I think the probes have been researched. Let me just see here. Can I... Yeah, let's do this. Um, orbital probe. We have two remaining. So if I would do this... I'm not sure this is going to work, but let's say we would do... We probed one area, and I think it was... Which probe? Which, which we probe? I think we probed this. Okay, so let's do this next to this guy here. Three, two, one, and Sector go. Sector scanned. Mm. Anomaly Damn. found. See, this is what I mean. Not too shabby. So now we found what is this? This is a new technology anomaly. And we found this, which is a deep rare metal mine. 2156 rare metals in this guy. Uh, that is crazy. However, can I use. You like the technology to exploit nearby resource. And I think that is mainly because this guy doesn't go deep enough. Uh, I'm not really sure, but I think that is the case. We're doing stuff over here. Indeed we are. <laughs> but you guys get to it. There's a lot of solar panels to be built. And how are we doing on the whole situation? We're doing 527. <laughs> and we just need 335. So we are in the surplus. So we can pretty much start up. Okay, this... Let's turn off night shifts, because I mean... Concrete, is that that needed? Well, it is, but we do have quite plenty of it. And this over here, I bet you that's going to be depleted anytime soon. How much have we gotten from it? About 200 units, 220 units. This is quite quite a bit still. And the rocket has arrived, so we'll just poop it down here. There's going to be a little bit of uh, prefab buildings and some uh, some electronics. This needs machine parts to be to be repaired. Get to it. Okay. Meanwhile, what those guys are doing their thing. Let's go here. And what I'm going to do. We do have one researcher, and also I think what it is is like as you can see the collaboration loss. We lose research points, I think, because we do have a research lab over here as well. So I think it's one per per map, maybe? And then maybe some other building or whatnot, which it provides a research. Not really sure how that works. But what do we want to have in this? We have the diner. Check. Um, the diner, and then obviously an infirmary. A little clinic is going to be needed, so poop it down here in the back stages. Some shopping needs. I don't want to do electronics because we don't have much of that yet. Let's do an art, work, or art workshop over here. So we're going to have infirmary, we're going to have a little shopping, and we are going to have this as a dining and a social area. And in between that, I guess we can squeeze in... Garden. <laughs> Just to bushify it. And on this side, what are we going to do? Obviously a garden. And then... No and then. I think I want to have the, the hy hy hydrophonic farms. Just two of them. Okay. That's not going to be... Oh, by the way... No can... active research. Oh, research I... complete. I Anomaly be... Analyzed. Darned. Holy crap, now this popped up. The sterling generator. Those guys are beautiful. However, they do cost quite a bit. Okay, They do cost 12 polymers and 6 electronics. But they produce 10 power and they never require maintenance unless you have them open. If you have them open, they will require one polymer eventually. But they're, they're really nice. But what else can I do? Indom buildings require maintenance less often. And that also consists of all the production buildings. So that would be kind of a thing to do. I also want to do the smart homes. What is that? Micro oh, there's the electronics factory corrals. We need that eventually. 3000. Steve Wozniak. Do it. Uh, one and two. Not sure I, well, I want have, man, I want to have this as well. Factory upgrade, increased production by 25%, but also increased power consumption by 20. Man, we do have quite a bit of power at this stage. So that would not be a bad thing. 
<laughs> so much stuff I want to do. Okay, let, let it be. Let it be. What was I saying? Oh, yeah. This over here. Oh, by the way, before, before we do anything else, let's do... Where's my little guy? He's here. Let's go and search this or analyze this. Because that might pop up some new technology or even a breakthrough, because that would be fun. What was I saying? Here. Can we do gardens in this, guys? Yes, we can. Oh, boy. Game changer. Okay, so f uh, one of those, one of those. And then maybe a uh, statue of... No, fountain. Fountain. There's a little fountain here. Bam. That's going to be looking quite sleek. And expansion. Reported. Expansion, expansion, expansion. We're going to do houses here like that. In the middle, maybe an apartment complex like this. I know the coffee level is pretty, pretty low in that, but we still still needed to get some people. And what haven't haven't I used before? I haven't done an uh, I haven't done an open air gym, I guess. Casino complex. It's gonna be a lot of gamblers. No, no, let's not. In the mega dome, we're gonna have a casino complex. In this one, maybe just do one of those. Resources are low. Let's do a few extra universal stock passes just outside Anomaly this. Analyzed. What did we get? What did we get? Okay, slow down. New There's technologies. There's more to the barren environs of the red planet than meets the eye. A veritable treasure trove of undiscovered knowledge and wonder. So long as you know where to look. Atomic accumulator, battery optimization, gravity and engineering, holographic scanning, and Martian education? That is a crap ton of stuff in just one uh, little thing. Okay, uh, hombre, you come back here, stand and recharge, and then do this guy. Man! Atomic accumulator. Stores electrical power, has huge capacity, but charges very slowly, okay? Then we have this, drone battery capacity increased by 50%. It's kind of like nice, but still no. Then we have this, the holographic scanning. Increased birth rate in the dome. Not too shabby. Then we have gravity engineering, the megadome. 10,000 research points. Man, that's going to be a little bit of expensive side. But let's just keep the current ones, just for the moment. Martian education. The Martian university. Trained scientists, geologists, botanists, medics, engineers... Ooh, that is so awesome, by the way. If we can squeeze that down somewhere about... Okay, okay, okay. We need to rethink the situation. What do we want to have here? This is such a tough cookie. I really want to have this guy research the Martian education and then every single beautiful face on this planet can be smart. Or have a specialization, at least. Yikes. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? What was the main objective? The main objective here was to add the metal extractor, obviously, because that's mine outside. So let's not waste any time, let's just do that and connect that with some beautiful power cables. Not sure how beautiful they are, to be to be honest, but hey. They're power cables, nevertheless. And then on the inside... Man, I don't, I don't want to do this the machine part factory now, but I will. Okay, I will. I will I will say yes to the machine part factory. So let's make it over here. And then in this section... What do we do? Uh, no, 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 no. We do this. We do... What haven't we done which is really vital for the community itself, for the whole colony? The school. Cultivate desires perks in children using modern uh, modern remote learning techniques. Please do. Uh, which is the front, which is the back? I guess that is the front, that is the back. Should we? Yes, please do. And then we will have a nursery on this as well. So just place it here. And then we will have a playground for the children. I'm thinking about the colony, okay? This is thinking about the colony. So we're going to have this here. And then to finalize everything, we will have a security station. Because we don't have one of those. And I want one of those. And then... Bushes. Bam. Done it. That is pretty much that. Planned and... Uh, it's going to be built up as well. However... How much people will this host? That's 84 with those. No, it's not. It's going to be around 100 people. I can't get enough of this. There we go. And now he goes back. So hopefully that requires one metal, right? Yeah. So hopefully a little drone can build this up. Did you did he just drop that? <laughs> yeah, he did, okay. And let's Cable see. Fault reported. So if he builds that up, 
I can just battery low. toggle the switch, right? There we go. And then maybe do a power switch on the bottom of it. Yes, I can. And that's going to require one more metal, I guess. So let's drone, you go out and pick it up. And vehicle battery low, a little bit worrisome. Who's, who's this? Okay, this guy. He's on his way back from a long, long trip. And by the way, those guys, did they go? No, they did not. Uh, whereabouts are they? You, sir, get down here. Because we're not really done with the, with the solar farm project. It's going to require like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of metal around here. But it, it will be done. So far we are alive and thriving. I guess mean, food is not brilliant. We're just balancing out. Fine, it's a fine balance on the food department, right? Concrete is amazing. Metal is going to be good again. Believe, okay? Machine parts going down and up. Uh, did we turn this factory on, by the way, again? Yes, we did. Okay. The only worrisome thing is actually the electronics. But it doesn't matter. Let's just build this up. What do we need? We need some special faces in, in, this, in this building, right? And one thing we do have. Do we have a rocket? No, we don't. Which rocket is ready for takeoff? 16 or 13? Okay, those are zero. You go back to Earth. And we're going to send one more back. One empty. There's going to be one for passenger and one for some bits and pieces and whatnot. This is, however, depleted. So let's remove this. Let's not make this place uh, a dust bowl. We don't need this anymore. We did, uh, I think we did extract around 220 concrete. Overall, that's pretty decent in my books. I take it. Yeah, it looks much, it looks much nicer over here. It looks like it's much more open. And there, there it goes. Fly. Will this guy fly as well? Thank you, Will. Oh, man. That's the little nerd in me. I just love stuff like that. Uh, by the way, this requires metal to be to be done. Okay, you do that. And those guys, they went off on an expedition here. Yes, they did. Micromanagement's hell. What we need to do is move all the people. Okay, we need to move all the scientists to begin with. Uh, so we need to move the scientists from this building around here, right? And I don't think there's an easy way to do this. Okay, I haven't really gone through the menus that good, so let me just see here. Uh, Colonists, I click this, we have 116 souls. Can I expand this? Can I move them somehow all at once? Unemployed, looking for work, zero. Vacant job slots, 56, we need people. Renegades is one, we need to kill that guy. Uh, vacant nursery slots, one. So we're gonna do this, we're gonna do, I guess, one by one. So click your Frank over here, Frank. Set workplace, Frank, you're Sector gonna be moving. Scanned. Great. We're going to be moving Frank to... Uh, Frank, I think I misclicked you. To this building. Is this really how you do it? The moms and dads and children. They're never going to see each other again. Because I, <laughs> I am the captain now. Ulla Svensson. Ulla, you get your butts here as well. Uh, Willem, you go to the science building. There we Anomaly go. Anomaly analyzed. That's perfect. New text available. Okay, let's just slow this down a little bit and see what has unlocked for us. This over here, the dust repulsion. Our solar panels are gradually cleaned from dust when closed, resulting in a less frequent maintenance. Oh my goodness. Amazing. We have quite plenty of them. And can you just imagine saving all the metal as well from for, for, for not repairing them? What is this? Li license Martian technology for use back on Earth. Earn 500 million funding. But that's not much, 500 million. Uh, we're gonna have boom, bam, and beam. Boom, bam, 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 bada, beam. Yeah, do that. Uh, what was I saying? Okay, this building is completed, right? And then we need to move another, some other souls from this, which is our specialized, like in the medical department. They're gonna be like, where's our medics? Our medics are gone. And I'm like, Funding hey, received. we're doing a, a bit of people rotation around here. We do have some funding. Let's do a passenger rocket. We're gonna do passenger rocket and let me see here, review some people. What do we, do we need? We need some botanists for the new building. We also would need some geologists because of the of the of the mine outside. Some engineers, geologics, scientists not needed, medics, maybe botanists, most definitely. That's six out of twelve. I'm not really looking if they're like bad on anything, I'm just picking picking skills from, from for the moment. We would maybe need an officer, but we do have quite plenty on the planet already, so let's just keep them. Scientists not needed. And now comes the question, like in this case, like, do we pick just random Joes? Or, um, 
Or what do we do? Because picking a medic and he's going to work in like a mine is going to be terrible for us because he's going to be really upset about the situation. Like, oh, so let's maybe do one medic or two medics for the, for the newly created building. And then the rest, let's not pick the scientists because we have quite plenty of them. But let's go into like Ulf, Ulf Pettersson over here, for example. He's middle aged. He's a man. No, maybe not. He's adult. Okay, let's do adult then. Adult, adult, adult. Gambler, fit, sexy. Oh, Sylvester, welcome. <laughs> you little stud. Lazy and a coward. Please not. Uh, let's see here. What do we have? Gamer, coward, whiner. Let's not. And this rugged hippie. Coward, coward and idiot. An, an, an idiot coward. Lazy, rugged, coward. You're most, most welcome to the, to the new dome. And yes, I guess people are going to be sp spread out here. So like the botanist is going to be working in their little thing here. What do we need for those, by the way? We just need some metals. Can you guys come back, by the way? Are you filled? Yes, you are filled with stuff. So one goes back here to be unloaded. And this guy goes to here to get into the production of the whole scheme in the in the dome. We do have a pipe leak here as well. And since we don't really have any metals because of this farm we're creating. <laughs> it looks so crazy and amazing. We would maybe need some extra batteries as well just to store some power. I do want to get this guy going. But um, yeah, let's not. Let's let's go for the small ones just for the moment, and then we can maybe tweak. We just have some extra power during nights. We're just gonna poop them down and be happy about it. Did we research any more anomalies around here? Nope, not yet. We're currently doing this and that. Nothing's gonna pop up from this, but maybe this. We do have still one probe remaining. Should we probe somewhere? Deep scan the surface. What do we do? Should we just do here? Maybe. Like here, here, here. Let's do this. Three, two, one, and go. Sector scanned. Nothing. Man, it's such a bummer. It's kind of like a gambling thing. <laughs> now I just want to deep scan all over the place. It kind of feels like. Just to find more um, anomalies. Because we can scan them and we can get more research points and stuff. That would be so great for us. Oh yeah, we did have one more rocket on, on Earth. So let's just do a cargo rocket. And let's just send back some electronics in this one. Electronics for the masses. Yes, yes. And maybe some food. Just keep... Because we have the space for it, right? And it's not that expensive either. 60 million for 15 units of food. It's like, I don't know, it's super cheap. The the people to rocket is going to land here. And I guess the rest of them is just going to land in a normal spot over here. Yeah, that is definitely amazing. 117 people. So I guess people being born left and right. Research complete. Which did we do? Uh, was sustainable, but it wasn't sustainable architecture, which means the buildings inside of the, the domes don't have to be serviced as often, which is quite great for us. Also, let me see here, the spires. Do we have any other spire? We have the water reclamation thing. I'm gonna wait, because there was one spire which I was kind of intrigued with, and I think, was was this? Was this the high scraper building? I'm not sure. Which was the... Yeah, this one. I kind of want to see how that looks, so maybe we're gonna keep keep the space for it. I want to queue up this. The Martian education. Do it. Do it. It is soul. I'm 66. And by the way, let me just see here. How are we doing in everything? Power surplus, a humongous. Oxygen shortage, a little bit. Water shortage, a little bit. But this is going to be repaired, so don't worry about that. Metals, concrete. Food is doing... It's up and down, I guess. But we will have those build up as well. It's not terrible. Machine parts, however. Machine parts. Okay. Let's get to it. What do we do? This is almost built up. This is build up. Okay. Let's enable two shifts. And let's start moving some of the peeps around. I know it's... It, I, I feel bad about doing this, by the way. I do. Because I know I'm splitting families. And they're never going to see each other again. We're on the surface of, of, of Mars. They might see each other again. But, but it's going to take a while. Geologist, geologist, you move. Greta Bay, you move to here. And do we have any more botanists? I'm just stealing all the botanists from other buildings. Like, don't take them away from us. I'm like, take it, take them away. New colonists have arrived. Okay, this is gonna be a second shift. This is gonna be the first shift. They're gonna be doing uh, leaf crops. Then we can do maybe. Wheat grass or microgreens? Let me see here. That's four souls. That's four souls. 
Okay, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a few of wheat grass just just in the beginning stages. And once we research more, we're gonna we're gonna change the rotation of the of the farms and and stuff like that. What is needed for this building, by the way? We need some concrete for this as well. The nursery that's gonna be built up, and also we have this, which is concrete and metals. But holy moly, get to it! Is this empty? It is. You go and get more resources this is not filled up but it will be eventually how much do we have here 17 and 43 in that perfect any anomalies <laughs> it's like i'm all over the place is this fixed yes it is that means i can just do switch off that and now no more leaks in the system over here and you sweetheart get your little guys and go up we go fantastic Go, 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 go. Uh, by the way, yeah, the people arrived, right? So that means this should have much more production. 18.6. Optimizing stuff. Is this done even? No, metals. Okay, we need metals for everything now. It kind of seems like. But they are producing as much as they can. Okay, it's going to take a while until it's fully up and running. But we're doing fantastic stuff. How are we doing on this building? 4.1. Who is you, sweetheart? You're like a... Okay, you know specialization. Or maybe you have a specialization. What is you? You have no specialization. But how can you be in the wrong workplace if you don't have a specialization? You just work wherever it's it's convenient. Concrete. Man, what is happening with the concrete? Free shifts, I guess. You know what it is, maybe? It's the lack of drones in this sector. So let's go to this guy. And let's say... Mr. Drone, over here. You move to this building perfect so now we have 20 drones in that so hopefully everything here should go much much smoothly when it comes to both both just building and carrying stuff left and right how are we doing on the on the things yeah the morale is a little bit low but it's gonna go up comfort gaming there's three gamers in here yikes meteor incoming Ooh. Okay. Move! Cable fault reported. <laughs> Dang it. Holy crap! Okay, I'm glad we, we clicked that. Otherwise, it would be a devastation. Glad that those guys were not built up yet, even. So it doesn't really matter. What are we researching? We're doing this still, alright? The physics, the dust repulsion, which is amazing. Oh, that's so sweet. How many people can live in this? 94. 94 people in total. We could tweak it even more. But it's going to be a little bit more with the nursery, I believe, mm -hmm. right? The school is up and running, which I'm thinking, like, how does this operate? It's a beautiful building. Okay, the kids go in here and they learn stuff. And there's three children here. And I'm thinking, do they come from the different domes to this place to live here and do stuff? It requires electronics to be... Oh, crap, it's going to be so expensive. And we can change the traits of them. So we have a survivor trait, we have a compost, and we have a nerd. The nerd is amazing. But uh, that's going to require electronics for gaming and stuff. So maybe we should go with enthusiasm, increased performance boost, and a high moral. High individual, individual base moral. Low sanity never leads to suicide. You know what? Let's go with religious. What was the last one, by the way? Survivor. Okay, survivor, compose, and religious as traits. I'm not sure he's going to give them all the traits, but we're going to see how that works. Amazing. It's me, Mario. Why is stuff not being built up here? Get to it. Super high priority. The playground. We need to have that for the kids. Look at this. So we have this, we have one children living here. Fault reported. And now I'm thinking, like, since we have three, four kids in this, and only one person living in this, that means they gotta be coming from different places, right? That is a beautiful... <laughs> such a drippy playground. Love it. And then we have the security tower over here. <laughs> it's gonna, like, the worst area for it. But now, now that's what I mean. Why are you guys over here? Like, okay, let's have... Let's have... Let's let's turn that off temporarily. Because we don't have any renegades, right? So we don't really need that. I guess once we get the renegades, turn it on and we're gonna eliminate the renegades. But for now, we don't have them, so let's 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 not waste the personnel. And how are we doing here? We have a full shift of, of botanists and two guys over here. 
Not too shabby, I would say. This is not bad whatsoever. It's, it's gonna take a while until we can balance everything out now. But that dome is definitely on the right track. Now we need to focus on every single one of them over here. Like, this is not really that needed anymore. It's kind of like a waste of materials. So we can maybe close that down. Like, it's, it's gonna be needed. Don't get me wrong. It will be needed. But let's focus this building on something else. Don't do it. We might need it. No. We will have something else in this building. And we're gonna figure that out together, okay? In the comment section. So you guys just spam away. This is operational, this is operational. This is just doing that, so that's amazing. How doing your food? We have food production of 17 and consumption of 19. But that is something which goes up and down. Mainly because, because of the of the crop rotations, right? So uh, it's it's hard to tell like the, like what a stable food uh, production we have. But man, this looks sweet. Is anybody using this? Because this is completed, I see. Yeah, I would be terrified living on Mars. There's somebody in the playground. Oh, look at them. <laughs> Beam me up, Scotty, and they're like, woof, come out here. <laughs> what does this actually do for, for kids? Playing, okay. It cultivates the perks in children for special nurturing programs. Or nurturing, nurturing, I don't know how to pronounce that. But I'm curious to see, is anybody going to be using this? Because it is completed, right? Exercise and social skills. We do have a basketball court. We do have some uh, monkey bars or whatever that is. Maybe not monkey bars, but some, some type of deal. Oh, okay. This is how it works. Everybody? Behold. Who's this guy? Max Eisenhower. Good job, Max. Oh, now he moves to this guy. Incredible. Okay, Max, that's amazing. Pipe leak reported. No, lady, not now. We're inspecting people in this dome, which is totally working out for us. For for uh, daily production. And how are we doing on that, by the way? Like polymers, we are overproducing. Not overproducing, but we're producing more than we're using. Uh, machine parts is a fine balance. Maintains cost 5.3. We're producing 5. So we're very close on that. Fuel is overproduction in two bits. And the only problem we have is with electronics. We're currently producing one, and we need 5.3 to be sustainable. So that is going to be a headache, but not a headache for the moment. NetSky's CEO has Whoa. given the colony an interesting proposal. The transcription follows below. Commander, I'm writing to inform you about the conclusion on the deal between Europe and our company, NetSky LLC. For over a decade, we've been providing high-tech solutions for the market, and now we're working towards the future with our project number six. It's a brand new, completely heuristic, self-improving program designed to simulate extremely complex predictions, market research, or sociological. It's your call. I know you like it. It's a UI personality too. Help us cast away the darkness of the unknown with this, Commander, and we'll pioneer to the next big step in human evolution. Effect Tech Research uh, Network Node. Hint Build a Network Node to Initial Project Six Number Six. All right, what 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 what, what is this even? It's a sweet opportunity. High five on that. But is it a thing? Is it this guy? The Martian Network. The new Spire Building. It is researched. That's amazing. Is it in robotics? It is pretty much in robotics. But um. Is it... Let me just see. Confundle. Is it a spire? Sector scanned. Anomaly found. Thank you, lady. Yes, indeed it is. Look at this. Increase the overall research output for the dome. Mm, that is not bad. Okay, let's let's try it out over here. Man, this dome is beautiful. I like this dome a lot. Uh, let me see. Build, and we're going to build the network node. Holy crap, this is ginormous. Put it down. Indeed. Yeah, this is this is my favorite dome. So far, this is my favorite dome. It has pretty much everything people need. Maybe not a bar, but it, it's, it's, it's nice. We're getting there. How are we doing on those guys? Full and almost full. So now I'm going to go back to Earth momentarily. I'm going to go passenger rocket. We have 32 souls again. We need... Uh, hmm, what do we need? We need engineers. Yes, please. 
One more engineer, yes, please. Some botanists, let's get them as well with us. Oh, even more. Perfect. We can maybe even have. Uh, well, that's pretty much full already now, isn't it? Uh, but let's let's have them anywho's. And then once we get the university up and running, we should be absolutely fine. There we go. There's nine and uh, one more. There we go. And then we just fill it up with some. Uh, well, maybe one more medic uh, or whatnot. Youth medic, perfect. And adult medic, there we go. And launch this up in space. Got 12 more beautiful souls arriving in this dome. And I guess babies are being born left and right. How are we doing in the school? We have six kids. They're learning survivor, composed, and religious stuff. We have this filled with six people now. They gotta be moving up in here. Like, they gotta be like, holy crap, this dome is the best dome. I just love the security tower, <laughs> like overlooking the, this little sector as well. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Uh, next episode, I think we're gonna get in, we need to get into production, everybody. Production of electronics to self-sustain us with that. Just send it back to Earth. But we are definitely on the right track. Where's this guy? This guy's here. Where is the little guy? And that normally was found in here. Amazing. Because you know what? We can get to that with our beautiful tunnel, which we don't really use that much, but we will. I'm going to actually research that as well, today's episode, because I want to see what that is. It kind of feels like I've been recording forever, and I do that with those episodes. I, I just enjoy the game so much. Okay, did you go down here? Yes, you did. Okay, so you go over... Cable fault reported. Here. Research complete. Anomaly analyzed. This is new. The deep scanning. <laughs> what? <laughs> Sectors can now be scanned again for deep deposits. Which means I don't have to use the the probes. I can just use this, the deep scanning as an option, right? Oh man, what are we doing now? We are doing this, which is the factory upgrade. Yes, please do that. Then we're gonna have the micro manufacturing. Yes, please. And then we're gonna go into the education. And then this. Should we? Believe me, stuff is gonna tweeze, change. What is, there we go. What is this? Rare metal extracted production increased by 50% on the rare metals. This is crazy. There's just too much goodies. And I, I don't know what to do anymore. Let's go like that. It is such a horrible place to land rockets because look at how dusty this gets. But uh, do we care? We should. Boom, boom. Yeah, we got a dust repulsion research, which means the solar panel is not going to be repaired as frequent as... Cable anymore. fault reported. New colonists have arrived. Oh, I see them, lady. There's a little bit of people here unemployed. And uh, don't worry about it, because now we can open, I guess, this. Even though you're not, like, technically officers and whatnot, you could be working here on at least one shift, maybe. Oops, there we go. Who's this guy? A geol? No, 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 sir. You get back into the mine. Did you guys see that? I tried to sneak in. It would... Get back into the mine. Oh! Resources are low. Maybe we can start working three shifts on this. No, let's just keep two. We'll see you guys in the next episode of Surviving Mars. Uh, but we're going to start, well, tweak more stuff. Because now this is working exactly as I want to, to do. And we can make some polymer factories. We can make some outside farms and polymer factories and whatnot. And that's going to work amazing, okay? We can even, like, maybe make use of this very shortly. And mine all those goodies down there. You're doing squats and stuff. Yeah, look at that. Like stretching and whatnot. And is anybody going to play basketball? That's the question. Oh, you beautiful little people in here. How are we doing? It's going to be feeling so lonely. Like, it's not a huge dome. It's pretty, like, com confined space to live in. Did I say goodbyes? I did, right? Yeah. This is filled up with eight people. This is filled up with, with, with ten children. We need a uh, university. People like this place, don't they? Yeah, it's, it's alright. It's decent, alright? It's decent. Everybody, thank you so, so much for watching once again. I'm Kraus, and I'm going to see you guys in the next episode of Surviving Mars. Have a nice day, and bye-bye.